what we need is to have something like the buttons up and down. Remember the get button up and get button down. So something like that. But now we are using this new player input system. How does this work? Let me show you something. Context dot performed debug log performed. And the same but dot cancelled. Cancel ah, that's okay. Okay, let's see how that works. Uh, I am going to press A. I'm still holding the button down and it was performed. Now I'm letting it go and I got the cancel. Now I hold D and I let go. So that means that we actually do have some kind of access for a kind of a version of the get button up and get button down. But instead of up and down, it's performed and cancelled. There is also a way to get the duration and some other stuff, but we are not going to use that as right now. We are going to change this a little bit. So let's have a public update. And we are going to put this translate here instead. And we are going to have a vector tree called movement the same name, so I think I'm just calling it movement value, maybe. I think it's fine. So, movement equals vector 3, 0. Let's copy this part here for the cancelled. And here we use what we had here. So, let's copy this part here. So we change the value of the movement to what keys we are pressing and when we let go of those keys we change the movement back to zero. And here we use the movement instead of having the value or rather instead of having the translation directly here we have it being constantly done on update. Let's see how that works. And that's much better, right?